Well, changes could be coming to your I-90 commute. The Department of Transportation is looking to improve safety along the interstate and through downtown. One possible solution might be closing the Walnut eastbound on-ramp. xy 4s Kyle Simchuk working for you tonight. He's live downtown on that on-ramp tonight. And Kyle, no need for drivers to worry just yet, though, huh? Well, Nadine, transportation officials want to be clear there is still lots of studying to be done, and they want to give the community plenty of time to provide feedback before any permanent decisions are made for this on-ramp. Uh, the Department of Transportation conducted a study and found that the Walnut on-ramp had the highest number of collisions compared to other on-ramps in the city, and that data is driving officials to take a closer look at safety and possible solutions. Collisions on the ramps is something that bothers us. For instance, that Walnut eastbound on-ramp has an average of 20 collisions a year. That's not a good thing. It's way higher than any of the other ramps. It's a very short ramp, so that bothers us a lot. And once again, it's unclear if the on-ramp will stay, but other safety features are already in the works. The state is funding a third incident responder and will add more wrong-way wrong notification signs. The Department of Transportation is also looking at installing a traffic control light near the Highway 195 I-90 interchange. And many of those safety enhancements won't be in place until 2019. Live downtown, I'm Kyle Simchuk, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Kyle.